Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today our group wants to present about the business level strategy and corporate level strategy of Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad Our group will present of 6 members which are Muhammad Adam, Muhammad Nabil, Zaima Amalini, Dik Nur Shamimi, Nek Murni and me myself Fatina Zakia. First, let me introduce to all of you the background of Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad, doing business as Dutch Lady Malaysia, has been a maker of cow milk and dairy products in Malaysia since the 1960s. It was originally owned by Royal Friesland Foods, a worldwide company operative located in the Netherlands. Dutch Lady Malaysia is currently a subsidiary of Friesland Company, a company founded in December 2008 by the merging of Friesland Food and Campina. Friesland Campina, one of the world's largest dairy cooperative. They own Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad. They are a multinational corporation with a global footprint and a strong local advantage that is always evolving to strengthen their position as Malaysia's premier dairy company. They are constantly innovating in their efforts to provide Malaysians with high quality dairy nutrition to help them advance in life. Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad primarily makes a distributes a variety of dairy products in Malaysia. This company, dairy goods include specialized powder for infant and growing children, yogurts and liquid milk in a variety of packaging options. Now, I uh, will pass to the next presenter to share about the Dutch Lady business level strategy. Now, let's move to business level strategy. The business level strategy needs to be chosen in order for the company to achieve competitive advantage. There are three generic uh, strategies which are overall cost leadership, differentiation and focus. The strategies that have been used by Dutch Lady are both overall cost leadership and differentiation. As for the differentiation, Dutch Lady's product is differentiated through a variety of flavors. For example, Dutch Lady fresh milk consists of strawberry, chocolate and fresh milk flavors so it will give their consumers the choices to try different flavors that can bring them satisfaction moreover for the consumers who are not really into the taste of the original fresh milk they have other flavors to choose from dutch lady also offers different types of milk for the different age categories such as kid school and also for infants the company has introduced an improved range of existing products with 25% less sugar, namely Dutch Lady Low Fat Drinking Yogurt, and also do a differentiation on their packaging design, which is changing the name of the fresh milk from Dutch Lady Fresh Milk to Dutch Lady Pure Farm in order to refresh the brand. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Then, we move on to the second strategy that has been implemented by Dutch Lady is cost leadership that maintains the quality of product, low cost overhead and flexibility in changes of orders and design of the products. As we know, cost leadership is basically focusing on creating a low cost position relative to a company's peers and also managing relationships uh, throughout the entire value chain to lower cost. The price of the milk offered by Dutch Lady is at an affordable price with high quality milk provided. Dutch Lady is the largest purchaser of local fresh milk from the Department of Veterinary Services. They also encourage the local farmer to produce better quality milk in high volume to ensure the sustainability of the milk supply to the company. Flexibility that Dutch Lady have is the changing of volume of fresh milk sold in the packet that can reduce the price by reducing the volume of the milk. Furthermore, the, the products by Dutch Lady have reliability concerning the health of their consumers, which is in terms of uh, sugar consumption. They have produced products that consist of less uh, sugar consumption by reducing the sugar level by 40% in order to avoid the bad consequences from having a high sugar consumption. They also focus on providing a product that is affordable to everyone so that they can make sure that everyone from any income level uh, can enjoy their products. Therefore, 
by having these competitive advantages, Dutch Lady Mill Industry can achieve more profit and higher revenue. The company managed to improve their profit every year. Plus, in 2020, they managed to continue to gain overall market share and leadership position in the liquid milk and growing milk categories in 2020 as per annual report 2020. By implementing both strategies, it gives the company advantages in terms of providing higher margins that enables the company to deal with supplier power plus can reduce buyer power because of fewer competitors as the entry barrier is high. Therefore, these strategies can reduce a threat of substitutes. Then, I will pass the presentation to the next presenter. Now, I will explain corporate level strategy. Corporate level strategy refers to the top management approach or plan for managing and controlling the entire organization. Corporate level strategies are usually developed by the company's highest level of management while taking into consideration the company's business environment, internal capabilities, overall growth and opportunities in the future. The primary question for a corporation to examine are number one, in what business should a firm compete? And number two, how would this firm be managed so that they produce more value together than if they were separate entities? Meanwhile, one of the most essential aspect of corporate level strategy is diversification, which may be achieved through mergers and acquisition, strategic alliances, and joint ventures. For corporate level strategy applied by Dash Lady, the first one is merger and acquisition. As mentioned earlier by Fatina, Dash Lady is a prominent dairy firm with an international management system and is a subsidiary of Richland Campina. Dash Lady is one of the several brands under the umbrella of Netherlands-based Royal Friesland Campina, one of the largest dairy cooperative in the world. One fact about Friesland Campina, the parent business of Dash Lady, is that it was formed back in 2008 by the merging of the Netherlands' two major dairy firms, Friesland Foods and Campina. Much earlier, both companies were founded as local regional dairy cooperative to help Dutch farmers deal with a storage of factory refrigeration and to help each other to supply milk to consumer quicker. As you can see here, Friesland Campina acquired a portion of more than 50% of the total shares in Dutch Lady Malaysia. Hence, this makes Friesland Campina as the parent company while Dutch Lady is their subsidiary. There's also a press release that shows the combination of the two business. That's all from me. I will pass to Murni to explain the next part. Next, we move on to the acquisitions implications. The implications are that Dutch Lady began aggressively working with local Malaysian farmers to offer best practices and experience. The Dutch Lady's Farmer to Farmer or F2F initiative, which began in 2008 in partnership with Malaysia's Department of Veterinary Services and the Dutch Embassy in Kuala Lumpur made this possible. Between 2013 and 2018, the program enhanced local milk yields and quality, resulting in 85 million packets of Dutch Lady milk being manufactured with local milk. However, uh, only 5% of Dutch Lady's overall demand. Okay, at the moment, Dutch Lady is Malaysia's largest buyer of local fresh milk. Okay, that's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Next corporate level strategy use is strategic alliance. Dutch Lady has established a strategic partnership with the Department of Veterinary Services Malaysia to help local dairy farmers to enhance the quality and volume of cattle raw milk. The impact of this strategic alliance is it helps Dutch Lady to achieve sustainable dairy production and improvement in the quality of milk produced by local dairy farmers. Lastly, joint venture. The Dutch Lady dairy products developed by Friesland Campina joint venture with company in China, Huishan Dairy Holdings Co. to further promote the brand and as a result, it helps boost sales and improve quality. 
As a conclusion, the business level strategy used by Dash Lady is differentiation and overall cost leadership, while the corporate level strategy used by Dash Lady is merger and acquisition, strategy alliance, and joint venture. Overall, we agree with the business level strategy and corporate level strategy used by Dash Lady, as those strategy has brought greater impact to the business as a whole, including the stakeholders. These impacts can be seen in the business level strategy use where differentiation gives added value to the products through improvement and overall cost leadership leads company in achieving high revenue and profit. As for corporate level strategy use, merger and acquisition strategy alliance and joint venture have contributed to more resources, facilities, data, knowledge and skills in respective uh, area of expertise and experience in producing a quality dairy product. Therefore, we believe that Dutch Lady has made a good Position its business and corporate strategy in strengthening its position as the leading dairy company in Malaysia and global expansion. So I guess that's all from our group. Thank you.